Welcome everybody, my name is Gabriel Bertaccini, I'm with Curia Vizen, and today we're going to show you how to make cotoletta alla milanese with salad, cherry tomatoes, oregano dressing and some fried sage. Let's start preparing our veal. Uh, you'll see it comes like this, it's one inch thick, that's how uh, thick it should be for this cotoletta. And uh, here we have the bone. It's important that you remove all this fat right here. Um, this is good for, for example, you can make broth, you can make uh, stew with that, but for this dish you do not need it, it's just going to be um, uh, create uh, a mess when we actually fry this uh, uh, piece of meal. So we are just going to remove it. And as you can see, the color of this loin is just beautiful. Here there is. So we'll have something like this and uh, you can decide whether uh, pounding it and make it a little bit thinner if you would like. We're gonna keep it this way today. Uh, maybe pounded it just slightly a little bit later but for now this is all we're gonna do. We're not gonna move to a salad. Next step is of course to cut the lemon. We're gonna use only half a lemon. You can uh, squeeze it this way otherwise there is a wonderful tool which is a lemon squeezer. Just half the amount of the lemon in olive oil, it's original olive oil. Some sea salt, some pepper, and fresh oregano. We're just gonna add a few leaves. The vinaigrette is done, all we're gonna do is emulsionate it. So we'll take our clarified butter here. that we prepare yesterday. You can prepare a clarified butter um, up to two weeks before, uh, ahead of time. We're gonna take our eggs and one will be fine for just, you know, one veal chop and we're just gonna whisk it. To avoid the scrambling eggs feel on the, uh, on the meat, we're just going to add some milk or half enough. We're just going to take our egg mixture. We're going to dip this. And again, do not dip this in too much eggs, so make sure to just have a very light coating, and then we're gonna add this to the breadcrumbs. And just put it in the pan. It doesn't have, it doesn't have to be too hot, otherwise it burns right away, and inside it won't cook, but uh, it needs to be hot enough to actually hear a sizzling, and uh, that's what uh, it's happening right now. And this is done, so what we're gonna do is Take the veal chop and put it on here. We're gonna turn this off. And here we have it. So now we have everything to assemble the dish. We can actually make the veal rest outside the room temperature for uh, at least a minute, a minute and a half. Uh, so it becomes uh, not, you know, it's not too hot to um, actually bite into it. Uh, but as soon as this is done, all we're gonna do is assemble the dish. So we're gonna take our meat center of the dish. Now on top we're gonna add our oregano dressed organic salad with pacchino tomatoes. We're gonna add our sage leaves that we fried before. Remember the uh, pastella which is uh, the uh, breading that we use to actually fry this is made of eggs, flour, some uh, beer, uh, salt and pepper, and uh, that's it. So we have cotoletta alla milanese with some organic salad uh, made with pacchino tomato, 
uh, a dressing of oregano, olive oil, and lemon juice, and of course some fried sage on top. Buon appetito, enjoy!